Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at XRP against its USDT pair. Thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to show your support, please hit that like and subscribe button below if you haven't already. Feel free to comment with any feedback you may have and while you're down there you can find a link to our Discord. This is where the magic happens. We have live AMAs with the whole team twice a week, live chart analysis daily, Elliott Wave Theory lessons, TA requests for our members and a whole list of other things going on in there. Why not come down and have a look? Once you land in the general chat area, just add mention a member of staff and we'll be happy to help you out. Also in the description below, you'll find an affiliate link to our Bybit. This is one of the best exchanges in our opinion. Whether you want to leverage trade or just spot buy and sell, it's a great exchange to use. Okay, so let's get into the price action here. So it's quite interesting, um, XRP. We had two options which I was kind of, which I was looking at. We were looking at this potentially has a, a fourth wave within this move. Um, and there's another alternative which we'll go over in a second. So if we go into the smaller time frames here, we can see that we have this one, two, third wave looking for a fourth and a fifth. So this fourth wave could be completed already within here, or we could be looking for, for this to be an A wave, drop down in a B, and then move back up again for this um, and sort of target out this 03857 area potentially. So that would then take us as a as a fifth wave drop into the zone of 03705 to 03360. So from there, we need to monitor this because there's potential that we could have some extension within here. And this is all within the green the green wave three shown here. So this whole move down would be a third wave effectively. So if that's the case, we'd then be looking from this fifth wave completion. We'd be looking for an additional fourth and a fifth down into this zone here. Uh, these target areas are sort of are just common areas of retracement, so we'll have to see exactly how the move plays out. But should it play out as we got indicated here, we could have a five wave move down, which would move down to this 03592 to 03523 area. If that is the case, then we would be looking for a bigger ABC to the upside, a three-way move, uh, uh, potentially between the range of 0492 to 03861. This 03936 is the 0 0.618 retracement, which is a common retracement area, so we'll be monitoring that. With these moves down, once this, once this, um, once this fifth wave completes, well, actually before that happens, if we cross above this uh, 03985 it would invalidate this fifth wave drop here once again once that's completed moving above this area of 03927 would invalidate this next fifth wave drop and then moving back above this 03985 again because these are pretty much in line would then move up uh, would would invalidate this green fifth wave drop so that's just some of the things I'm watching. If we if we fail to stay below these zones, then these waves become invalid. Though the downside doesn't. We would have to re just monitor it, how these develop off of these. But we ideally, we don't want to go back above these levels. Otherwise, we've either got an extension within the waves or there's something else going on, potentially the other option, which we're going to be looking at now. So if we jump over here now, this is looking at the move slightly different and looking for for um some evidence that we could be in a c wave to the upside off these let's make this big off these off these lows here at 3160 so the way we're looking at this is that potentially we have a um let me get there. so we could have a series of ones and twos within this move and we could be currently within this green uh, a five wave move that is that would be a third wave of this teal teal move here so this this is only valid so long as we don't follow the the, the other five wave drop in my opinion because then we would be looking for at least a zigzag to the downside so with this option if we look to invalidate those those other the, the other fourth and fifth waves as shown in the in the other example that we're tracking we could argue that this is an A, B, so basically an A, a B, and a C wave that's going to finish with this five wave move. And then that would mark a wave two of this move here, or a B wave, whichever way you want to look at it for now. But confirmation confirmation that this would be 
wave one two would come from I'm gonna put it there and there. So moving above this 0 0.5040 area after finding support in this zone. If we move below this 03457, that would invalidate any of this upward potential here um, within within this green third wave. And then finally, a confirmation of, of um, no impulsive uh, structure off of the current moves we have would come by crossing back below this 03160. Doing that would then eliminate all this potential for this five wave move that we're currently tracking. So those are the areas to watch. We're going to be keeping an eye on these invalidation points and these uh, particular target areas on the on the other option to see which one is most likely. If we fail to move back above this 04194, then it's more likely that we're going to be seeing some some progression to the downside in in an impulsive structure, and then look for a second wave and then continuation. If we break back above this 04194 area, then I would say it is more likely that we are looking towards this option to play out. The confirmation would only come by moving above that 0 0.5040 area. I hope everyone find this video useful. And if you did and haven't already, please like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care out there, everyone.